All right. So it's not that you're not good enough. Here is the thing that I realized today as I grounded myself and I'm about to go do that in a minute. It's not that you're not good enough. You are not competent enough. Because if you look at, if you look at, because Bob Proctor said something. He said the greatest problem is ignorance. So when you see life from that perspective, um, it's not that you're not good enough. Because you ever realize when you speak to a person who thinks they're not good enough, they really don't know what they're talking about. And here's what I mean by that. If you ever dealt with somebody who's not good in a certain area, let's say with relationships, money, um, money, uh, fitness, um, love, love of self, um, positive relationships, etc, etc. You ever realize they really don't fucking know? You ever realize and sit with yourself and say, like, for instance, I'll give you a, a very uh, blunt example. A lot of parents don't really know how to be parents. Um, they wing it. They don't, they don't, um, they really don't know. When you look at most of our parents, they didn't read a book. They didn't go to a seminar. They didn't go to a class. They didn't go. They don't have any accountability. I Meaning they don't have counsel of people who are saying this is this is how you can make this better. This is how you can communicate with your child better. Can you imagine if your parent took a thousand hours of parenting classes, courses and coaching? Before they became your parent? Let me repeat that again. If can, can, Would you imagine what type of parent your parent would be if they took over a thousand hours of parenting classes, coaches, accountabilities, accountability partners, and they have a circle of parents who can keep them accountable, who can, who can uh, 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 give them lessons and give them wisdom etc etc like i'm in this group called black fathers on facebook it's one of the most beautiful uh groups of men i've ever seen in my life can you imagine if a group of men had men that kept them accountable when they became fathers like meaning you you don't even get you this when you get poor when you have a child the tribe knows so like there are some men, including myself out there, who are, I don't fuck with people, where, where men who don't take care of their children. I find it highly disrespectful. And you tend to realize, just like with parenting in many different areas of life, they really don't fucking know. Like, no, no cat, no bullshit, no finessing. A lot of us don't really know shit. We just be winging the motherfucker and hoping. What? Where is that? Okay, gotcha. So, a lot of us don't really know. It's not no it's not that you're not good enough. Here's a question to, to make you challenge when you say you're not good enough. Do you really competently know the topic of what you're trying to accomplish? When I say you know it, I don't mean you just is intellectual masturbation. I mean like you are practicing what you preach, you are learn you are learning, you are studying and you are applying. Do you really know? And almost whenever you say you're not good, you're not good enough for especially for something that you actually want. Most of the time, 
you're actually really ignorant. And you refuse to do what it takes to become competent in that area. And that's something that I've accepted today. It's not that I can't make eight figures doing marketing. Eight figures doing marketing is a certain level of competence that I do not have today. It's not that it's, it's unachievable. There's a certain level of competence, meaning understanding, a certain level of understanding that I have to have to achieve that. It's not about who's good enough and who's not good enough, who's worthy and who's not worthy. Not necessarily. The person who's, who's manifested it has way more knowledge about the topic than I do. Has way more action taken about the topic than I do. So when you understand it's just about, oh, then I suggest you, you, you Google the competence hierarchy. It's a level of unconscious competence that they have making a certain amount of money that I do not have. And that's what you need to face every single day. You are not competent enough. Because if you were competent enough, you would be doing it. Let me repeat that again. If you were competent enough, which leads to competence, you will be fucking doing it. If you're not doing it, most times you are not competent in that area. And that's why I say, because I grew up in a household where they told me a lot, oh, you're not good enough, you're not responsible, you're not this. And how can you be responsible for something you're not competent in? Whether, let's say, memory, um, like brain cognition, um, um, proper foods to eat, eating according to your blood type, um, etc., etc. And you're eating whatever, you know? Whatever makes your craves, whatever, whatever uh, dissolves your hunger, not really in competence to really develop your brain, your body, your heart, your organs, your your bloodstream, um, etc., etc. So, if your body is not functioning at its peak performance, usually, again, it's the same ideology. You are really not competent in your in what your body is able to do. And how to make it do what you need it to do and perform at a certain level. You are not competent. Or you are not around nobody who's competent. That's another topic for another time. You are not around nobody who's competent enough to challenge how stupid you think. How stupid you are. How ignorant you are. You are not around nobody who says, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? And because you're around nobody who's able to tell you what the fuck is you talking about. And you know what's crazy? That's one of the fastest ways to uh, become more confident. You're around people who will say, what the fuck are you talking about? And I've, and you know what's crazy? When, 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 I, when I meet like very toxic people in a certain area and they don't want to develop a certain level of competence, you, you, I tend to realize they don't want to hang around nobody better than them. No bullshit. I've seen that over and over and over and over and over again. Usually people who don't want to become competent in something, they don't hang around nobody who forces them to be competent. At all. They refuse to hang around somebody who knows... <laughs> Ooh, child. Who don't know... Who, 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 who knows what they're talking about. Because you can't... Especially if you're... If your level of competence is something that you bamboozle the ignorant on. So I was with a, a sad son, Pisces Moon, and she likes to bamboozle people who really don't know. And because I had a certain level of business acumen, I always caught on eventually. Um, and sales acumen, I'm like, yo, I, I really like do this. Like, there's not no, oh, you know, I sometimes do when I feel like it. I do this day in and day out. How are you trying to finesse me? Um, and if you finesse me, I end up saying, wait a minute, what the fuck is you talking about? Um, so because I got to a place where, where you say, what the fuck is you talking about? A lot of the times they cut you off because you, you make them conscious of 
what they want people to be in the dark about. So, or like they feel like you know too much. And I've had that scenario with people where they cut me off because they felt like I knew too much. I was too intelligent. So instead of building with me, they felt they felt threatened because of my level of competence. So they couldn't undermine me uh, from a place of not being as confident because I was competent. It wasn't that I was better than them. I was competent. And sometimes a lot of the time when, when, when it comes to being around people who are competent, a lot of times they, they don't even have to be. Here's the deep. Here's some deep shit. A lot of the times when you're around competent people, a lot of the time they don't even have to be better than you or experienced in the area that you're experienced in. But they've studied it longer. They've 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 learned. They're around people who know about it. They're around the experience and they can they can compare and contrast what works and what does not work. They can tell you fact from fiction and um, they can tell you uh, uh, emotions from reality. Um, And. A lot of the times we don't want to hear that because, again, um, we don't want to become we don't want to raise up in the in the in the in the hierarchy of of competence. So I remind you again, it's not that you're not good enough. Um, You are not competent enough. You really don't know. And comment yes below for your for your manifestation consultation. Comment yes below for your manifestation consultation. Peace.